Hey, welcome back to Virtual Table. We were getting ready to start this mission. <clears throat> One thing I wanted to maybe do was... Um, so, we talked about this a lot in the Lax video, but the dilemma is I want Critter to retire. And the only way Critter can retire is if two other people retire... <coughs> excuse me. If two other people retire while Critter is in the party. Which really puts a bummer on things, because we had a character that retired, but Critter didn't get credit for it. So now I'm trying to, like, just get people to easily retire. Um, I'm actually starting to really like Nathaniel Green. I don't want him to <laughs> retire, even though I keep pushing him to it. Um, <laughs> so I think, let's say I get these two to retire... That means he would retire. I would have one, two... Yeah, that would be my party of four. And that's not counting the fact that I'm going to unlock more characters. I just won't necessarily um, buy items for them, which is what created my problem. So yeah, Critter and Nathaniel Green are both going to unlock... Nope. Oh, gosh. I want that character, though, really bad. <laughs> I think that was the other thing I wanted to say, is that's why I'm trying to retire him, because I, I think the bard is awesome, and I think you will agree. Um, so then it becomes, you know, what do I do about having all these other ones? Ah, uh, such a... I sh probably should never have gone bonkers and created all these characters in the first place, but um, uh, the big lesson here is don't buy items for all of them. That's what I gotta make sure I do. So we're gonna go ahead and go uh, with the characters as is. Um, an interesting option would be to maybe add Mork and Mindy to the mix. I don't have to worry about them retiring at all. Um, but if we do get a party wipe, Edward Scissorhands gets three points towards his retirement. So um, can't complain about that, can I? So cultists, hounds, yeah. and living spirits, huh? Kill one or more elites. Yep. Kill three or fewer. Kill by doing four more points than necessary. That's a tough one. But I don't like this one either, because he's becoming a pretty good damage dealer for us. Loot a chest is always tough to do with a guy who's always in the back. Uh, use your equipped items. Yes. Equal to or greater than your level plus two. The level is three, so I would need to use five times. That'd be two, and then three, and then I'd have to rest two more times. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Take only long rests. You know me, I love long rests, so let's go for it. This campaign, even with the computer setting everything up for you, holy cow, I've spent a lot of hours on this so far. And just think, the board game was about 100 to 115 bucks, I think, with shipping. If you were original Kickstarter backer, I know it's gone up since. Um, and if you buy it retail, it's probably a lot more. But that's all the more I remember paying. And, of course, you get cardboard, and it had standees that didn't have miniatures, you know, for most of the enemies and, you know, things like that. And then, of course, the computer game was... <coughs> I don't remember. 
how much I paid, 20, 30? Um, that's a lot of hours. I don't know. I, I know people like to complain a lot, but uh, it's hard to complain with a game like this. And I think that's why it got rated so high. I really do. And it's not bad. Yeah. It's always a good challenge. These these missions are definitely challenging. All right. These four guys here are who he needs to kill to retire. And he needs to kill one of these elite ones in the back to get his perk. So our tinkerer here just needs to go forth and conquer is all I'm trying to do. Uh, let's make sure there's no traps. So I can place a trap, for example. Like, these are cards I probably need to start replacing with a different card, because I never use them. A six damage trap would not kill anything. Um, Where do I begin with this character? That's my real question. So I could do a crank bow to move four. You know, get in the middle of all these guys, but then what? Do I drop a trap then? And then I would... I would use my hook gun the next round? Nathan, that, that's in that burns a card. Not sure how much I'm a fan of that. But otherwise, I'm not doing anything with this guy. I can stun one, but it'll do a whole whopping one damage. It's really hard to kill with this guy. Unless I use my burn cards. No, he's a bad How does the map look? Looks like we go into another room up here, which looks like it could be two rooms, right? So it looks no, like this is a three-room dungeon. Uh, I don't know. I'm truly an analysis paralysis at the moment. Alright, I'm going to move forward and drop that mine. Do what? Now the rat is over here oh, next to this hound really who has retaliate power, too. So a melee attack is not the best thing in the world. It's Although I can heal too and I'll just heal the damage I just did to him. Uh, that works. That does work. Um, oh, uh, uh, join. I could... Nobody's next to each other, so that doesn't work. If that's the top action, what would the bottom action be? Oh, we could stun him. But if I stun him, I then have to move towards him, which this doesn't allow me to do. So I'm going to keep the number high. Hopefully the hound will move in. Yes, I'll take some damage, but hopefully it'll fix itself. And you know the deal. We're going to curse, curse, curse. And I'm going to do a scroll of lightning on him. And let's shield ourselves. I just don't know. These hounds tend to go quick. They'll probably be lower than 19, but let's hope they aren't. The cultists are going quick with a 10. And if they die, they kill everybody around them. Or attack. Um... But they move and they do a no damage attack or a one damage. Right, time to kill That's fine. And then of course these guys are going really late after I just said they, they tend to be quick. <laughs> oh, this game always makes you look like a fool. Alright. Quartermaster's turn. Let's shield everybody around. My plan was to move to here and drop a trap but these two just blocked it. So now I have a 5 damage attack. I could go against him, but I think I'm going to change my mind because he needs to bust through these guys. I 
Either way, I, I damaged somebody hard. And that's all good. And we're going to go ahead and get that scroll of lightning ray on back. In the turn. And yeah, we're going to curse, curse, curse. So... I'm going to... There's no then, yeah, we gotta kill this guy. And I need to use my items. Um, so... That's perfect. And then I can use a stamina to get one back. Yeah, let's use our items. So I've used three out of the five, but I gotta rest two more times before I can get to five. Alright. Now this one is the tricky one. So I can only move one space now. And instead of placing the trap, I'm just gonna do this. And I could guarantee that I kill him. But assuming I don't get a minus, I should be okay. And there I am. Boom. So I got credit towards retirement with that. And of course, when he dies, he retaliated. Mind Thief did not go before him. So we're going to go ahead and stun him, which means he won't hurt us. And yeah, I'm going to do this. I don't get to do the attack, but I at least get the augment ability. Alright. Now what? I don't have the 6 damage trap, which I was going to hook gun these guys into. I can put a poison trap down, but whippity do. Oh, it's a 2 damage poison trap, so that's a little better. That would be my top action, though. Alright, so I can muddle him and move two spaces. And I can stun one of these. Or I can try to burn a card and get both of these in one attack. We'll do that. This is a great one for up here, but one, two, three, four. Oh, they are in range. I could do it. All right, I will do that. And then for the top action, I'll do the move plus attack. And curse, curse, curse. Got a curse there. Summoning the bones. Okay. I can move here, get the gold. Heal. And then let's curse someone. And yeah, we're gonna damage. I'm going to go ahead and have him attack 
him. And we get to move three, which I could go attack the cultist, but we're going to go ahead and take on this jerk. Who has the retaliate? Receive the two damage, and then just heal it right back. Never underestimate the power of the rat. Okay, so we're going to muddle him. Move two, which will put me out here. We can stun this guy, which will prevent him from getting his skeleton out. I could add it one, but I don't think that matters. And the Tinker's turn. Two damage. Two damage. Oh, that hurt. This is a tough call, because I have this. I can do attacks against both of them, but it's only a two damage attack. I have to kill a monster by doing at least four more. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Oh, it's not perfect, because I'm only going to do three more. Get a plus one. Come on, get a plus one. Boom. Boom. That was almost like I planned it. I could run for that gold. But then I'm far away from these guys. When does that ever stop me? I got the plus two movement boots. Alright, kill one or more elites. I have an elite right here that is just begging to be killed. This is a three damage attack range. That's a three damage attack range. 4 damage attack range. So we're definitely going to do that. And we're going to go early. Mr. Ratty, Patati. We got to get some heals in. That would burn a card. I'm not a big fan of that. I can do this. I don't need him to go invisible. Wait. I just need the move. And then... Although, actually, that one's even better. Because that heals me while I move. <clears throat> and then, that's a range attack that I could just use as a regular... I'll use that as the regular attack. How's that? I do have a push. I'm good. Alright. Now this guy. I can keep cursing. I got pretty awesome of those. Got several of those, right? So I could put it here and I can poison both of these guys. For example, I can stun somebody, which might be helpful because I'm being surrounded at the moment. Um, Everybody who attacks me is disadvantage. Yeah, we're going to do that for the bottom and then for the well, top. Actually, no, you're right. That is useless. Because America, you don't even need to colonize anymore. You just kill things. Uh, stunning may not be a bad idea. It'll give me an experience point. It was, it was pretty bad. Yeah, we'll stun. And this guy... We do need to move... An impaling spear might work against those two. And I would need to do a hasten step to pull that off. So, oh, hold on, I still have my boots. So if I do one, two, I only need to do a two movement action.
Yep, attacking two. They're going to cause themselves to take two more damage. Alright. So, I'm going to move two. Or just one. Heal. Then attack him. Do no damage, but heal again. Which was still a victory. Plague Herald. Gonna go disadvantage everybody. Let's stun someone. They're gonna come get another bone, they're gonna attack two people. If I stun him, I get disadvantage. If I stun him, I'm going to stun him. Alright. We're going to do this. I need to get all three of those guys. I think that does the trick. I need to put goggles in this one. Let's make sure we do maximum damage. There's the elite I needed to kill, so I got the perk. Move to heal one. I'm just gonna move right up there and get some gold. Quartermaster. We're gonna move two. Use the boots. And then spear these guys. And turn. Two damage. This guy's gonna kill himself. Alright, I need to get that door open. So let's start with <coughs> Tinker here. We got plenty of guys to kill. That's a perfect one. I'm gonna mobilize everybody and then move two spaces away, open that door. And then for the top action, I can do an attack 3, range 3, and hit somebody, or I can put a trap in. And I'm actually going to do that. We're going to make a trap. The rat just needs to attack, and that'll allow him to heal. I need to so, for example, I can do this for the bottom wound attack, and then for the top... I might kill him with this. It's only an attack one though, and he's got a shield and two health. So yeah, I want to do this then. Well, let's go earlier. The harrower needs to worry about up here, not down here. We do have a curse card, which might come in handy. Uh, that is always interesting. Range 2. So I could put it here. I would hit these two guys. We're going to do Spread the Plague and Curse. And then this guy, we just need to move. So do I have any big move? I have a move attack move. Actually, that might be really good. Or there's a move 5. That attack move attack would be nice too. Um, if I were able to move one, two, I can do attack, move, attack. Ooh. I want to go after the rat, though. Not before. So, I'm going to flip it. 
All right. They're healing themselves. That's not good. Tinker. Let's immobilize. Oh, just one enemy. Ugh. The living bones are going to move, attack, and then heal. And they're going to move and attack. Ugh. I'll go ahead and immobilize him then. I thought it immobilized everybody. And then we're going to go ahead and move up. And yeah, this is all kinds of nastiness. The Tinker's in so much trouble. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Alright, um, I should have just killed this guy with like a regular attack. Yeah, he's in trouble. The fact that he's healing is where it hurts. Dang it. Had to burn a card there. Alright. There's, 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 there's a reason, okay? I want to kill them. Okay. I want to take, like, main landing. Man, I did Why? no damage to him. I power him. I want to expand somewhere. I'm healing the other guy because I'm next to him and I well, can. I was going to ask for that plus. And then I'm just going to push this thing away because he's see he's wounded so let him just take damage and I can heal myself with a healing potion and my turn yeah and then the plague herald these are all range attacks so I'm just gonna go ahead and take the disadvantage Though I probably should finish him off. He doesn't get to move, so he's not doing anything this turn. These guys already went. There, we at least got the curse in. This is the part I'm more worried about. The spirits are the ones I'm worried about, not those guys. So we're going to do the move, attack, move. So we're going to move. Attack. No damage. Then move. Then we're going to do attack. Stunning him was awesome. That makes it easier to move away. And then attack again. Could kill him. He's the bigger threat. Yeah, look at that. Attack four. Against somebody who only has... Oh, that curse card just came in handy. I got two more still attacking here. Attack three. There's a curse card again. That curse card... It was worth its weight in gold, folks. Okay. Hook gun. I gotta get out of dodge. I can't. I'm gonna go as early as I can, and a 37 is not good. So, Ratatat. If I can get up here, I can heal him if I'm close enough, but I'm not. But we'll try to go as early as possible. I had to burn a card, so that's why I'm out of order with my cards here. Um, these don't hurt allies. 
this one does. That one I can hit two targets. It also has a move four. So I can figure out what I want to do. I don't want this immobilize. I, I want to at least do some damage if I can. And then we'll worry about that later. Alright, Living Spirits are not doing a lot of damage, but it's a range attack. Uh, these guys are going to kill themselves, but summon another bone. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do this for the four movement. And that would let me get... Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. And this is a nice immobilize attack I could do. Gives me an experience point, or I could do a melee attack and then heal. That's the choices I have here. Um, immobilizing somebody, because of where I moved, this is the only one I could immobilize, and he has plenty of targets. I'm going to do the melee. He is going to kill himself, and he has nowhere to summon somebody. I'm going to do the melee on him. Yeah. Kill him, and then kill himself by two. Can't quite get close enough to the Tinker to help him. Yep, and Tinker's going to take more damage. Yep, we're going to have to burn a card. No damage. Three damage. Yep, we're gonna have to burn all of our extra cards. Could have been worse, folks. It could have been worse. These guys are flying, so I can't put them over a trap. But and I could heal myself, which actually might be a smart thing to do. But I'm doing my hook thing because I can. And pulling him. So now he's poisoned. And then I'm just going to move away. Like so. And I do have a healing potion we're going to use. So he's not in dire straits. End turn. Then Quartermaster is sitting next to somebody. So we can attack. Which killed him. Now, here's the interesting dilemma. He's going to put another bone now, because we're not blocking all the spots anymore. So, I can do that, or I could try to hit somebody. He's stunned. Don't have to worry about him. So you can see who we could hit. We could hit this guy for four. He's poisoned. This guy would be able to eke out a bone, but he would end up dying himself. Um, and then this guy, of course, is stunned. I'd be able to at least do two damage to him. It won't be enough to kill him. I'm going to go after him. In the turn. And yeah, now we got the Plague Herald. So this is no longer attractive. So I'm going to do a move three. If I'm standing here, he'll be disadvantaged. If I'm standing here, how many, how much movement are these bones going to do? Two. He'll move two and be able to attack me. I'm still going to do it. Let's get the gold. We're going to move here to get the gold. And I get to target him and him. And what I'm hoping is I at least do two damage, because then the wound will finish him off. And I'm not... Oh my gosh, that was awful. That did not turn out as planned. I mean, it was a little risky, but... Yep, he's almost dead. Oh, 
Okay, Tinkerer. It says kill one or more elite monsters during the scenario. Oh, I guess it doesn't give you the credit until the end. Um, I think we need a long rest, considering all the burns. Take only long rest. So that's exactly what we'll do. Oh, this is where it gets tough. I'm in between two jerks. I have to long rest or I don't get my item back. Oh no. We got these two jerks. They're gonna... And he's out of stuff too. Do I really want to long rest with everybody? His chainmail is completely unused. I will short rest with him. Uh, that hurts. Hmm. Do I dare draw another one? Yes. Okay, that one hurts too. But, I want to do that. And... So we're going to do this. Attack him. Stunned him with a doubler. Can't complain about that. I don't even have anybody to attack now. We're going to move. Well, what are those guys going to do? They're going to attack for four damage. Oh my gosh. He's so totally dead. Crap. I can move back and attack him. Or forward and attack him. I may not kill him. I'm only going to do a 2 damage attack. So I don't think I could save them me anyways. The uh, Plague Herald is going to get exhausted here. I would have killed him. No. With the shield, I would have only done 2 damage to him. Hey, that was really good. Four damage. Times two. I think I gotta burn a card. Let's not take eight damage. Just trying to figure out which one's worth burning. Even four damage sucks. No, must be done. Those living spirits are just brutal. These living bones aren't going to be any better. Look at that, four damage. Where I burn a card. I'm going to burn a card. Three damage, and then five damage. Oh, come on. I mean, the two is actually going to be okay. very helpful, but now I have to get rid of another card. This is nice for the stamina, but I'm going to go ahead and... 
There's another door, folks. There's more. I think we're going to party wipe. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the Tinkerer. If I kill him, I progress towards retirement. So if I were to come here and shoot this way, the flamethrower is gone. Dang it. That is exactly the card I was hoping to use. Um, it's going to burn the card, but this is the time. And... Okay, the ratty patati is going to do this for the wound. And... Oh, please, you just rolled a zero, dude. Come on! I can do that. Thing is, is there's two guys here that need to die. This one's dead. As soon as he's turned, activates. Okay, and then... Okay. Alright, and then... We're gonna curse. And curse. And then... For this guy, I mean, obviously we could do some damage, but we need to heal. The Impaling Spear could help. We need some heals. So, if I heal myself, then it's just whatever's on the bottom. <clears throat> so, for example, I could immobilize somebody. It's only a one damage attack. So if that's the case, then I might as well shield. Sort of a waste, but I think I can't... You know, I'm not going to be able to kill all these guys. Definitely not. And there's so much armor up there. Okay, so starting with him, I wanted to move here, which will heal adjacent allies. So we're going to heal both of them for one, and then we're going to burn a card to make sure I hit both of these guys. And this will make sure it's as positive as possible. So, boom. Got another one down. And that guy was also elite, so I know for sure I got my perk point. And I am accelerating him rapidly towards retirement here. <laughs> um, but that's good. This is what we want. We want these guys to retire. Okay, so now the quartermaster is going to get pummeled by these guys. So look, they're going to curse. Yeah, I got to heal. Myself. We're going to take a lot of curse cards. Oh. This is 5 health. I'm actually at 10 now. I could have used a potion. I didn't even think about that. But maybe we could just wait till next time. We're going to wound him. And then I get to heal somebody. And we're going to heal him. And then I can do a move attack. So I could move up here and attack this. Or I could stay back and attack that. I'm going to go ahead and move up. And we'll attack him. That minus one sort of hurt. 
And we'll go ahead and heal the Tinker. I actually just made it so I'm going to get more curse cards now. Plague Herald. We're going to move to. And curse. Then I get to a 4 damage attack. And I have to do him or otherwise... Yeah, he's going to light us up. We're going to use our item to make sure it works. And there we go. He's good and gone. Okay, you have seven cards. That guy dies. No damage. Three damage. Oh gosh, all of us got curses. Two. They're just giving out curses like Pez dispensers right now. He tried to summon somebody and there was nobody to summon. Took two damage. Okay. <clears throat> I'm running out of cool stuff to do with this guy. So do we just keep burning cards? If I do a six damage attack, maybe kill one of those. And adjacent ally recovers all their discarded cards, but then I burn another card. I just can't. I just can't do that. All right, we got a punch. We got a punch, punch, punch. All right, let's stun somebody, which is what that'll do, and then we can punch. With that one. Okay. Although it would be nice to do this one. I mean, you, here you can make somebody attack. Uh, let's do this one. I don't want to lose the low numbers. Also, I think the invisible might come in handy. Okay, now I can start. If I had some of my bigger stuff, which I don't anymore, this would have been perfect. That was my own fault, but. Let's curse. And I guess we're going to do this just to move. Impaling spear would work. The five damage attack would also be nice. At range three. Thing is, I can't do the bottoms for everything. Okay, only one damage attacks. Two. Yeah, these guys are just brutal. Alright, Mind Thief. We're gonna stun the spirit. When we did a doubler on him, that sucked. And then we're just going to finish him out right. We get to heal anybody for two, and we actually have to heal ourselves. I could go invisible, and that's actually not a bad move. So I'm going to do that. Bones go. Plague Herald. Let's get the curse in. And just keep attacking them. Alright. So I could do this and then push, which doesn't accomplish anything. Let's do a 5 damage attack. I know he's stunned. 
Uh, I'd only do two. Well, I can kill him, so let's try killing him. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And we're going to mobilize somebody, which doesn't quite help. He's the only one that would actually take damage, or I could just kill him. Um, yeah, we're going to just try to kill you. I drew the curse. So, that happens. Tinkerer. I was going to do this. I still am. Let's kill. I drew a minus two. Um, so... Might as, well, might as well get some gold. I don't want to run out into that mess yet. Okay. I've burned a lot of cards. I gotta stop burning cards. So, as much as. Of course we can't win. Right, we can stun somebody, which is good. And then for the bottom piece, there's nothing to do. There's absolutely nothing to do. And then here, the range attacks are nice, but I need to do. I mean, I can do a move four. One, two, three. I can get all the way over here and then just start punching. Yeah, I gotta do that and then uh, let's punch somebody in the back. So maybe uh, hostile takeover? I'm gonna be at the mercy of all these guys if I do this. Um. I gotta do it though, we gotta open another door. There's only two things to do with him, and here I am. Long resting. Alright, they're gonna heal themselves, not good. The cultist is just going to heal somebody. The spirits are going to actually not do that much damage. But they are going to do some damage. This thing, I'm not going to be able to damage anybody. So I'm going to do this. Then we can heal somebody back here. Heal him. And now I can go four and get over there, which but it just makes me a target. Um, I think I can pull somebody towards me. Where I can stun somebody. The stunning might actually be the better move. Although he's gonna heal somebody, and if he heals him, we're screwed. So I could do two damage to him and pull him towards me. And then thing is is he still can heal here. And the two damage isn't enough to kill him. I could stun him, which prevents him from healing anybody. And the only person he would heal is him. Or I could try to kill him, but see, it's a one damage attack and he has three shields. So it's likely not going to happen. So I think my best bet is to stun him. I still... Oh, I did no damage because of the curse. Um, so good thing I didn't suck him in. And I could choose to move forward. I mean, he is long resting, so I could like move forward to there, but then that makes me a target. Uh, we're always going to have a target, no matter what. Uh, I'm just 
just skipping the movement. I got another stun, so I could stun one of these bigger guys, or I can do a two damage attack against two targets. Because they have so many shields, this is where that bow would have come in, right? Because the bow lets you ignore shields. Uh, so I only need to move two spaces, right? Because if I'm sitting here, I can hit all these guys pretty well. But I want the stun. I think that's more important. So I'm going to go ahead and move four. I'm just going to move two to there. <clears throat> and then we're going to just stun one of these. And I'm going to stun the guy in the back. And my turn. Cultist Elite can't do anything. Spirit. Three damage attack. That one is going to do a two damage attack. And we survived. Only two cards left for him. Two cards. Got a long rest so we can finish our perk. That's a five damage attack, which will hopefully kill one of these guys. And I do need to move in. I can do that, and that will give everybody around me plus one attack. We will do that. Oh gosh. Who did I say was long resting? Oh, we already we already made his so who hasn't decided what they're doing? What's going on? Oh, there we go. The elitists are attacking two targets. And they're going... Oh, he's going first. That was super lucky. We were down to one health with that guy. So I could disarm somebody, which means I could I take these living spirits. Or I could melee attack, which lets me heal two. If I melee attack, I will do no damage. This would... Yeah, I gotta kill somebody. Frick you. That was a little bit of overkill, but he had three armor. And then we're gonna go invisible, so we're not gonna die. And yeah, so now I got a five damage attack, which is one away from killing him. So I'm gonna boost my attack by one. And now I'm doing a six damage attack, and as long as I don't get a negative number, which I didn't. I just killed him outright. That was phenomenal. Now the Tinker, we can go up and heal the rat. And that's what we're going to do. Just going to get too closer and then heal the rat. This guy's going to... Oh, he didn't do anything. Interesting. Attack 2, range 2. Oh, he was invisible. There was nobody in his range. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright. Um, we got to get this door open. We have the Tinker... There's no reason not to long rest with all these burn cards. This one can only take long rest, and he's invisible, so it's perfect. He'll heal two more. I got two guys to deal with, and I basically want to curse. And curse again. 
And then we have an appealing, impaling spear situation if I can get up there. So one, two, three movement. There's a five move right there. Literally just buy him for a bit and then dismiss him. I don't even need the five movement. I got the boots. We'll use the boots if we have to. And I know we gotta open the door and I could use the boots for that, but I got the five movement card, so. Alright, let's see. The cultist is going first, and now the impaling spear is not gonna work. So much for well laid plans. It'd be nice to wound him. So now I don't need to use the boots. We'll just move two. We'll still use the spear, but it's just not going to be against... Oh, and then I had a curse anyway, so... Moving spirit. One damage attack. Muddled him. Okay, this is interesting. I wanted to move too, but I got in the way. Dang it. So I can't do that. Oh, did you see that? I drew a curse card. <laughs> so that was perfect. And I would... I, too bad the turn order wasn't a little different. Because I could have used the boots and gone somewhere else. Okay. And I could have gotten another curse in. I can't even move. So... Wasted card. Heal. That wound might come in handy. Not as helpful. And then Tinker will be healing. Alright, round 12. What are we gonna do, folks? They gotta get this other door open. I don't get any perks if I don't win this mission. So, we, we have a problem. I do have a, a move 5. One, two, three, four, five. I can get that door open, but then I'm stuck in a rest situation. But we're going to do it. And then Mr. Ratty Taddy. We could do a one, two, three, four move. We can bust into this room with two of our characters. But I don't know what the top action is going to be. So I can maybe do this one. Or that one. Yeah, let's do that one. We're going to go last, though. And I know that puts him at risk at being attacked by this thing and him. But uh, we're basically leaving it up to these two to kill these two. So the Plague Herald can do a two damage attack, which would kill this one where we could stun this one back here. Or we could curse. The curse is the way to go. So range three. So we need to move four. And so the curse I'm gonna do against him, which should kill him and still put a curse in the deck. He needs to kill him for the retirement fund. So what we could do is Oh no, 37 is going a little bit late. 
but we can do that and then add a move four. Okay, they're going very late, so we got lucky. Quartermaster. We're going to move five, and I am going to use the boots. So in case I need to back away, I can. All monsters heal one damage at the start of their turns if they're within two hexes of the altar. All mercenaries and mercenary summons suffer one damage if they're within two hexes of the altar. Okay, but we still have to just kill everything. Uh, I'm okay with just staying right where I am. These guys are going to summon bones, so they're all going to take two damage. So I'm going to sit tight. And then we'll do a three damage attack and just hit one of these turkeys. And that's good. Plague Herald. We said was going to move four. So I'm going to go here just to get gold. I could move one more, but we'll go there. Get the gold. Four damage attack. We gotta finish this guy off. This has to work. Alright, good, 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 good. And my concern was is his shields. It's just too too hard to overcome. And then this one, we're gonna do a regular two damage attack. Kill him. Move four. I know the gold is tempting, but we need to get closer to the action. Bones aren't going to attack us this round. The move four would put me here or here, which is next to two enemies. And then I had a move three, attack one, so I could even go, you know, deeper in if I wanted to, blah, blah, blah. The attack is only going to do one damage. I'm basically going to just be healing myself. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move in and I could move more it just puts me in range of these guys but I, I'm gonna move one more space in and yeah we're gonna attack one of them I'm gonna attack the one that I know I could damage and yeah he's gonna heal himself because he's in harm's way round 13 so we're a bit back, but assuming I can move four, which that lets me do, or I can move two and heal allies, he's in the way. Depends on what he's doing. Oh, he's definitely blocking the door. Do I dare long rest? Yeah, a little long rest. <coughs> Rat a tat. I can stun. <coughs> go really early and stun. I can also go invisible. So let's do that. Let's go invisible and let's punch. Yeah, we'll punch somebody. I'm in trouble with this one. So we will long rest, and back to this, I need the move four if I want to get in here, and I could heal, 
But what good is that? Let's kill some stuff. Oh, hook gun. Okay, so since I'm within two, I'm taking damage? Am I considered a mercenary? I'm not a mercenary. I can definitely heal myself. Hmm. I'm only damaged one damage. I'm gonna heal him. Because I'm going invisible. Yeah, this is the part that stinks. I'm moving up. That's gonna let me uh, get attacked by stuff. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna switch gears. We're gonna move two and just go here. Then we're gonna do a stun attack against him. And yeah, they're gonna go for one damage, no big deal. Sorry, had a interruption. So this move four is going to be good, but as you can see, I'm like holding on to all these curse cards, right? Um, yeah. And then, of course, the quartermaster heals. I don't know which card to get rid of. I mean, I'm tempted to get rid of this one. Okay, round 14. The Tinker, who's no longer up here, is going to long rest. I'm going to go as late as possible, but those are our only two cards. I need to get up here. I don't have my AoE stuff. But I do have beautiful curse, curse, curse. I don't want to burn my move yet. I'm also running out of cards with him. And then this guy has so many things he can do. That attack five, range three can really do some damage. The Paling Sphere could do some damage. The Attack Move Attack can do some damage. Or I could do this. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do the Attack Move Attack. I know that's my two lowest numbers, but if I add plus one to all attacks this round, and then I do two attacks, that's three damage each. That's what I'm going to shoot for, at least. So let's try it. And it's going to make all my allies do extra damage, too. And we're going to do attack. Which did two damage. Then I can do a move. Which I'm going to do to get into this corner here. And we're going to attack him. For three. Now, my lesson learned is I gotta stay two points away. These guys are all healing because they're inside the, the radius. Living Bones. Curse. Nothing. Curse. Nothing. 
Plague Herald. So I can move four. I'm going to attack both of these with a two damage attack, but the curse is way better. I would have liked to have hit one of these guys instead of the bones, but I don't have four movement points right now because they're, they're blocking me. But I will... I'm thinking I want to get some gold. Get a little bit closer, grab some gold, and then hit this guy blocking the door. I've already done used my items, so I could wait. But killing this guy at the door is pretty important. But no, I'm gonna let it go. I just drew a doubler. Jesus, that would have been really nice against one of those elite cultists. Yeah, and these guys are healing themselves, which doesn't help. Yeah, that didn't help at all. Receive another damage, because I'm in that stupid radius. I'll attack you and wound you. Heal herself. So, I could do five damage on this guy. I just, um, it's gonna burn a card. I think I'm gonna instead just do two damage. Look at that, that curse would have screwed me. And then I would have burned the card anyways. So, I don't have anybody to heal. I'm just going to end my turn. Yeah, and this is where the problems start. Tinker's definitely going to run out of turns here. So if I drop a mine right there, uh, I can hook on something later to go over that mine. So that means I'm going to stun shot. This guy's going to take a damage. He's got a long rest. This is a five damage attack. No. Impale. Over the land. Where does it show land? Um. Is that a land oh. I could push him onto that trap. And then I'm doing something like an impaling spear or a range attack. Alright. So. Okay. This is going to burden the card. Oh crap. I didn't even think about that. Well, he's running out of turns anyways. Okay. We're gonna do it. And there's nowhere to move. Let's just go grab some gold. Because I might lose. Three damage. Alright, Plague Herald. Obviously I can curse, and then the stun will hardly do any damage. Or I can damage and curse, and this doesn't do much either. Um, I don't know what the right choice is here. 
I mean, one damage on this guy, we would stun him, but that's it. He is going to do a four damage attack against two of us. And this is not going to... All right, yeah, that's the plan. We will move two. Curse him. And I know it's a disadvantage attack. We could do this to cancel that. There we go, he's stunned. And now we got this. So we're going to do a move. Skip the movement, but we're going to push him. Yeah. Right under the trap. So he's dead. And do I want to push anybody else? There's no benefit, so I'm not going to unless he... Oh, I can push him because he doesn't move this round. So he won't attack me. And I'm not pushing you. You're staying right here. So oh, I could have pushed him, actually. I'm going to go ahead and damage him. It was a range attack, so I didn't want the disadvantage. Alright, got to heal self. Get rid of a card. I don't need the movement points so much. And here we go. I am running out of turns with him. I can go early, stun somebody. Or I can go invisible. I can have them attack each other. We're gonna wound. We're gonna wound and then attack at the top. That's what we're gonna do. Oh. I'm gonna long rest. Dang it, I'm just running out of turns. They're going to take two damage. They're going to put more bones out. We're getting clobbered. So if I stun one, I could stun him. It'll prevent him from taking the two damage because he's not going to summon the bone. But I won't get a bone. So it'll reduce the number of bones by one. That's good. And then we're going to go ahead and attack this guy. It will add plus two to all my attacks in the future, but I will no longer be healing myself. That's the issue. Uh, or I could just do a two damage attack and then heal myself. Because I'm only going to do a one damage attack by doing this. The making it a two damage attack how bad is he? He's got two cards in the... I mean, we're running out of turns. So the healing is nice because it keeps him alive. But I need to do damage because we got to get these guys down to zero health. Ugh, this is so painful. We're going to go ahead and attack him. I did this backwards. I was planning to wound him and then do a 5 damage attack against him. So I ended up just stunning somebody. Ah, it's alright. Do do it's alright. Um, I need to pull somebody away from the healing. So we're going to move to heal adjacent allies. Doesn't really do anything. That's fine. We'll skip the ability. But I can attack and pull somebody, and so I think I'm going to attack this guy because I want to pull him away from the healing. Problem is, is I'm just going to pull him there, and he's still going to heal. If I attack him, I'm not going to kill anybody.
we drew a nothing burger there, so that was at least good that I used the goggles. They're all gonna take two damage, but they're summoning all these bones that we're not gonna be able to kill. Oh my gosh. I mean, the heal... I can keep a guy alive, but the time for healing is over. We've got to kill. So now the long... The, if I short rest this, yeah, I get to take one more turn. Uh, fine. Just look at this. I only get to take one turn and then I'm out of actions again. So I can have them attack each other. And just do those two. This four damage attack is a lot of damage. I just, these dang things are in the way. I'm definitely able to do Impaling Spear this time. Okay. I can kill him outright. What are they doing? They're going to heal themselves, so... Yeah, let's get some murder death kills going here. Oh, come on. Come on. I drew a curse. This has to kill something. I can kill him. I can heavily damage them. He healed his wound. Alright, that was good. Would have been nice if I gotten a doubler this way, but you didn't know what you were going to get. Oh, that hurts even more. 
and that basically is game over for him. Yep, so he's down and out. I don't have a choice anymore. Yeah, I had more morale in the previous war, but that didn't matter. Actually, I think I had higher morale. That just made it so much worse. These guys are healing, too. The healing is what makes this brutal. We're gonna lose. I went through all this care to... I'm surrounded by three guys with two armor each. Absolute jerks. I'm gonna go ahead and do a range attack then. Um, you know what? Let's move away and make the skeletons come towards us. Get away from the healing thing. Don't even enter this room next time we play this. So we're going to attack and curse somebody. It would have been nice to attack those guys up there. These jerks with all this armor. And we drew a nothing burger anyways. Oh my gosh. Just pick up the gold. That's all I'm going to get to do. I'm going to let them move towards me. I need to get the heal back. And yeah, I'm dead with this one. Alright, so we're going to do a melee attack for two. Should do two more. With a doubler, that was awesome. Heal ourselves for two. And go invisible. Long rest.
So we can either do a 2 1 2 or a 5. I still think the 5 damage is the best attack I have. And it's just a move that goes with it. The impaling Spear would do two of them. Yeah, I gotta do the Impaling Spear, don't I? This guy is so close to being killed. So I could, for example, stun him, but it's only a one damage attack. If I got a plus one or a roller or something, I could maybe kill him. If I do this, obviously I can move away. I'm not winning this. This is impossible. Yes. I at least got one of them. The doubler was great. I got one. Ooh, losing the invisible hurts. That's wound. An attack. It's still bigger than and they're healing themselves, which means they're going to get rid of the wound. Jerks. So what that means then is whoever I wound I just need to also attack them. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to kill this guy. I mean, I'm going to damage him, yes, but I'm not going to kill him. Came so close. It's not enough. Then he's just going to heal himself for 4 damage. And go right back up to 8. Yeah, he's exhausted, and then I'm going to exhaust right after this. And I drew a curse. I mean, I don't even stand a chance. We had them. These. We had these down. 
the this map is beatable. It really is. I the the middle spot with those living spirits is really tough. Um couple of lessons here. The first one is the uh the plague bearer is not as good as we thought. Um I know I uh some of this might be my fault cuz remember I initially took some damage with the plague bearer and in doing so uh I burned my AoE cards. I probably shouldn't have done that. Those AoE cards I think would have helped um at the end in these final rooms. So Maybe the Plague Bearer is better than I thought. It's just, for me, it's, um... The curses do work, though, right? And the, the curse damage was good. It was really good when you're attacking just one single creature. So I don't want to say the Plague Bearer, because the Plague Bearer was definitely dealing out damage. Um, the uh, Tinkerer ended up getting into a pickle too early, which caused a lot of, you know, burn cards. That didn't help either. The Quartermaster holds his own quite well. Um, who's the last one? Oh, the the Mind Thief can only do so much. <laughs> uh, but it was decent. I, like I said, I think it's beatable. Now, if I would get... Um, this is a perfect mission for the summons. I think the bear would just have a field day on a mission like this. And... Um, Mindy the Scoundrel with his seven movement. Eh, because she'd be really, like, they'd be really good at taking out those, uh, because we need to pierce the shields, right? That was the other thing, is we got stuck with all those, we were sort of bottlenecked in that room, and those guys with all the shields was able to just stand back there and range attack us while we couldn't get through the door. And then there was that one round where they cursed everybody within, like, a range four or something like that. And all four of our characters got cursed four times, right? Because there was four of them, four living spirits, and we got cursed four times. And, um, and those curses came up again and again and again. Like, towards the end, we kept drawing those curses, and right when we were thinking we were going to do some damage, we didn't do any. Um, and then, of course, that altar... I made a mistake of going into that room. I thought I could hang out around the outside edge and, and finish them off, which sort of was a decent plan, but, you know open that door and then just retreat and let those suckers move towards us. Um, anyways, let's figure out what we're going to do here. Dirty Thief, stirring it up. Attempt to stop yeah, the crowd from hanging in Verblin. See this through. Okay, who retired so far? Um, that was not a vermin. Vermlin or whatever it's called. Uh, the verm... Vermlings, I think, are the rats. Because it's like a play on words with vermin. Um, we have a rat in our party. This... This used gibbet. Clearly not guards are moving closer. So it's like these people are coming to rescue the Vermling anyways. So if we don't do anything, they'll come and rescue the Vermling, or we attempt. I could lose a reputation if I do this. I think I would lose reputation if I do this. Because basically, they want to... They think this thing's a thief. And if I interfere, I probably would successfully save him. But then I'm going to lose reputation for it, because I'm basically sticking up for a thief. <sighs> Losing reputation... Could cause... The prices to go down. But other than that, it's not that big of a deal. Or if I let this thing go, I don't know what actually would happen there. Probably nothing. It would just be like a story. Uh... 
Or am I misunderstanding this? Men clearly not guards move closer. Is it because... Is that the mob? Is men? What the hell's a gibbet? I actually don't know what the heck a gibbet is. Let me, uh... It's a wooden structure resembling a gallows, from which the bodies of executed criminals, formerly hung, are in public view. So they're moving towards the gibbet. The men, clearly not guards, move closer. All right, let's stop. Yep, right there, minus one. And yeah, I still have that quest, which, like I get, said, I think it's beatable. But Edward Scissorhands has some cards we're not using, so maybe let's try to tweak the deck a little bit. Like, for example, there's a Pierce card. This is an amazing card. Why am I not using this? Um, the this card is awful. I never use that. I would rather use this in a heartbeat. And then Pierce 2? I can really go after those living soul souls with that. Uh, this one stinks because it's a burn card. This one's okay. Um, and then this is one of the ones we just got rid of. And then here... Um, So, we actually have two of them under the skin, and this one, oh, this one also has pierce, but it's a burn card, which is why, so it is in our arsenal, we just don't use it. It's one of the ones I tend to burn early. Um, but there's, like, none of these cards here I would rather have instead. So I'm okay with that. Okay. And when we go to the Mind Thief here... That's a good attack card. Like, that's a decent number of attack. Who cares about the stun, right? Um, and I'm thinking, I like that more than this. Right? Because this is just... I mean, I know it's a two damage attack, but it's... A, um... Like, this one's nice just because you can move and attack, but the attack is so lame. And then these, I tend to like the heal one, so do I really need all the other ones, is the other question. So, this one that adds plus two attack is sort of nice. Actually, I like it for this. Never mind, this one's really good. This one, actually, yeah, you're right, I use them all because... I move four. This one for the invisible. And that's already an attack too. Yeah, we're okay. This one, like I said, it's the burn that makes me not want to use that. It's a good card. I just don't know which one I would replace it with. I would replace it with that, uh... Well, this one's a crappy card. I only use it for the bottom. Or this one. I would, but it's a nine. Yep, I'll replace it. And... Yeah, I think we're good. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this. Thanks for watching, as always. Stay awesome. And in case you haven't heard all the commotion going on behind me, we're going out for sushi. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're going to go do that, and um, uh, thanks for joining me at the virtual table, and if you were here, you would have been more than welcome to come. So, uh, thanks a lot. We'll see you later.